And I watch another one. I made 50,000. I'm like, these people are lying, you know? And then I started going deeper and I saw like people like Mr. Beast and all of that. So I'm like, okay, let me try that. You know, what do I like? You know, at the time people like listening and whatnot. And then I just started a channel called Inus Mzansi. It's about 130 something subscribers now. Wow. <laughs> yes. And I've really let that down because I haven't been posting because I'm not that person anymore, you know? And you started um, that during COVID. Yes. I started it during COVID because there had to be income. There had mm -hmm. to be money coming in. Mm -hmm. There always has to be money coming in, you know. Um, then I, I, I decided, you know what, I'm going to have to go back home. Um, and I remember my mom's word when she says, oh, you, you can always come back home. So I called her up and I said, then I'm going to have to come back home. I'm going to have to start this uh, thing from, from scratch. Um, Is that during COVID you've closed the direct yes. marketing business? Yes. Um, that must have been a hard decision. A and we'll talk decision. about that later. Yes. Right. So you decide to go back home. Yes. Um, during hard lockdown or I think it was that? just easing up now. We could travel because I was in uh, Durban. You were staying in Durban? Yes, I was staying in Durban Morningside. Wow. Yes. Okay. Working from there. That's yes, where the direct marketing there, business that was. That's where my business was because at the time I was working very with, closely with Vodacom in Durban, uh, that Umhlanga office. Yes. Yes. And uh, uh, Telcom as well. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So obviously they were, because, the, they were your clients. They were my clients. Yes. Okay. We were doing um, fiber optics for them. Um, we were doing uh, LTE services for them. Anything that had to do with uh, uh, connectivity, network, uh, technology, all of that, they were clients. And because we were really good in training up sales team to go hardcore and get the results and the numbers, numbers don't lie, that mm -hmm. uh, they wanted. So then I decided, you know what, I'm going to go back home. And I go back home and I'm sitting one day with my mom. She was working from home as well. Um, and she was sitting doing her work. Uh, she had all her laptops, all of that. And my sister is uh, the seasoned one at the time in real estate, you know. And she had already started. She had already started. She's running already a doing business. Well. Or She's a realtor. As a realtor. Working for an agency. Yes. Nice. Okay, which one was it? I don't want to say you know, I, No advertising for you <laughs> yes. guys. Yes. Cool. <laughs> yes, and she was working for that agency. And you, I think you asked me before the cameras, because we're so close and close in age, do we fight? And we said yes. We were actually having an argument uh, that morning. At home? Yes, at home. She was staying at home as well at the time or she was... No, she wasn't staying at home. She, she come... came to see you. Yeah, no, because I'm, I'm with her mom now. We're sisters. She has to be jealous. What the hell is she saying to my mother? So she's there half the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so And she worked around the area. Her office was around the area. So every morning she'd come drink coffee there at home and all of that stuff, you know? And then she comes by, she finds us peacefully sitting, you know, with siblings, uh, with my mom on the table, and we start an argument. And I don't know what she says about her client. I'm really good in sales, not just real estate sales. Sales in general. Sales in general. Yeah. I could sell you to your mother, and she yeah. would buy you. And of course she, she would you know buy I mean? me. I'm handsome. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. It's a good product. Yes, it's a good one. <laughs> um, but... Uh, then, uh, obviously, my sister and I butt heads because we very, we, we, we both um, strong personalities, you know. Um, um, and she says, I don't know what she says. She says something about a client, and I try and advise her on what she should have said. And she says, excuse, excuse me, this is not telecommunications, all right? This you can, property. Yeah, this is property. You can never sell property. So I look at her, and I'm like, what did you say? And she's like, you'll never sell property. And that week, my mom had been asking me, why don't you join real estate? Your sister's making good money, good money. Make join real estate, you know what I mean? Because you want to now elevate your career. And I'm like, oh, so you, you didn't say that. So at that moment, she left, but she didn't know when she left that she had just fueled my fire. Mm, and She um, challenged you now. She challenged me. And uh, I, I love challenges. I'm a consultant, you know? Yeah. And then there was a transaction she was busy with that was on my mom's computer. And my mom left. I think she went to the bathroom and I took a sneak and I was like, what? Oh, this is it. This is my motivation. I'm going into this, you know, and the rest is history. That's when I got into real estate. At what point do you then formalize it to be a business? A business, um, real estate is a business, uh, whether you're a realtor or uh, um, a real estate agency uh, owner. It's, Correct. It's, yeah. So. Maybe let me phrase the question yeah. like this. At what point do you then see the opportunity to start your own realty? Because remember, when you started, you probably joined a company, yes. worked in the company, mm. and then you saw the need to now establish Lelo & Co. Mm. And where the, did that desire come from? 
the desire came from me wanting to grow exponentially, you know. Um, like I said, I had Yeah, but you could have sold sweets. You That's could have not sold, exponential You growth. could have sold stones. You can sell anything, remember. You, can, yes. you could have sold companies. You could have sold me. But you chose to sell real estate. It's about the value of what okay. I'm getting from Why real, real estate, estate specifically? Because of the money, obviously. The mm -hmm. money, let's cut all the, the bull crap out. The real estate money is good. You know, especially if you know what you're doing and if you value yourself. Because there's a lot of realtors that undervalue themselves. That's mm. why there's broke realtors. What do you mean by that, undervalue? Because you know why I'm asking that? Mm. I think it goes back to what I asked you in the beginning yes. about our childhood mm -hmm. and how we end up being the person we believed we were when we were kids. Mm. That pathway, mm. right? You said something very important. And before I interrupted you, I can finish your statement. You yeah, want to yeah. say they are broke realtors yes. and they are rich realtors. Yes, so that goes back to a person's belief system, mm. right? That the relationship with money that yes, you were talking about, yeah. their money bull blueprint or financial context, mm. all of that, right? For you, I feel like you could have sold mics, you're going to make money. Mm -hmm. You could have sold water, you're going to make money. So meaning wherever you went, you would have done well. Mm -hmm. But out of all of those things that you could have done well in, because remember now, we're removing the money aspect. Mm. We're saying, you'll make money. You're selling stones, you'll make money. Why then did you not choose laptops, telecommunications, but property specifically? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So meaning, what was the desire that actually sparked and said, no, but your thing is property. Mm. Your thing is not bottled water. Your thing is not laptops. Mm -hmm. It's not cameras. Mm -hmm. It's property. You know, um, there was this one time, I'll answer you now. I just want to go back to this. When um, there was a charity team, in an organization that was um, working and managing a team in, mm -hmm. um, and there was a telecommunications team. And the charity team sometimes came to me and asked me, Lelo, why do you do so well? Um, and you're always getting results out there. And I said to them, when you're selling, um, what do you call it? Um, charity. Mm. And when you're selling telecommunications, you, you must become two different people. You must understand with charity, I'm going to go to, to that question. No, continue. With charity, I'm coming to you, witness, and I'm asking you to give me uh, a portion of your money that you work so hard for every single month and you're getting nothing. There's okay? no value. Yes. With telecommunication, you've got a podcast, you've got an office, you've got offices, you've got employees, they need Wi-Fi, they need internet, they need technology. So whatever it is I pitch you, you're getting something out of it. I just have to make sure that I understand your needs and your business's needs, but you're going to buy it anyways, you know? But uh, So when I said to them that charity is here, it's in the heart, you know? If I'm going to ask you, um, you know, like these uh, KFC or McDonald's people that say, to run, they're the like, uh, yes. where 